Thank you very much. We know it will be a good flight. Firing command coming in now. We are on the automatic sequence. We're approaching the three-minute mark in the count. T-minus three minutes and counting. T-minus three, we are go with all elements of the mission at this time. We're on an automatic sequence as the master computer supervises hundreds of events occurring over these last few minutes. T-minus two minutes, 45 seconds and counting. The members of the launch team here in the control center monitoring a number of what we call red line values. These are tolerances we don't want to go above and below in temperatures and pressures. They're standing by to call out any deviations from our plans. Two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. We're still go on Apollo 11 at this time. The vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the propellant tanks are concerned, and all is still go as we monitor our status for it. Two minutes, 10 seconds and counting. The target for the Apollo 11 astronauts, the moon at liftoff will be at a distance of 218,096 miles away. We just passed the two minute mark in the countdown. T minus one minute, 54 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates that the oxidizer tanks in the second and third stages now have pressurized. We continue to build up pressure in all three stages uh, here at the last minute uh, to prepare it for a liftoff. T minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50 second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12. 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11.
This is Houston, you are go for staging, over. Mission confirmed, thrust is go, 11. This is Apollo Control, we're 10 minutes away from ignition on translunar injection. We want to add uh, 10,435 feet per second to the spacecraft's velocity. Looking for a total velocity at the end of this burn, uh, about 35,575 feet per second. Transposition docking went over. Yeah, I, I thought it went pretty well, Houston, although I expect I used more gas than I've been using in the simulator. Uh, the turnaround maneuver, uh, I went pitch Excel command and started to pitch up, and then when I put the manual attitude pitch back to rate command, for some reason it, uh, it stopped its pitch rate, and I had to uh, go back to Excel command and hit what I thought was an extra on the disky. Uh, then during the course of that, we drifted slightly further away from the S4B than uh, I expected. I expected to be out about 66 feet, and my guess would be I was uh, around 100 or so, and uh, therefore I expect I used a bit more coming back in. But except for using a little more gas, and I'd be interested in your numbers on that. Everything went nominally. This is Houston. Uh, Roger, we copy. That was Mike Collins giving the description on the transposition and docking. Apollo 11, this is Houston. We'd like you to terminate charging on battery A at uh, GET 30 plus 15. Over. Okay, 30 plus 15 for battery A. Charge terminate. Roger out. This is Apollo Control. Apollo 11's distance from the Earth is 119,116 nautical miles. It's Earth referenced inertial velocity 4,679 feet per second. This is Apollo Control. Based on the present trajectory, Apollo 11 will enter the lunar sphere of influence at an elapsed time of 61 hours, 39 minutes, 58 seconds. Apollo 11, this is Houston, over. Go ahead, Houston. Uh, Roger, if you're free for a minute, I've got uh, some updates to the P-37 pads that uh, we passed up to you uh, yesterday afternoon, I guess. Uh, as a result of doing mid-course correction number two, the uh, Delta V required in uh, the TLI plus 35, 44, and 53 pads have changed slightly over. Okay, TLI plus 35 pad, the Delta VT should be 7 niner, niner 2 instead of 8016. TLI plus 44, it should be 6112 instead of 6141. And TLI plus 53, 
It should be 8172 instead of 8209. Read back over. Roger, understand. 79902 6112 8172. Over. Roger, read back correct. Out. This is Apollo Control at uh, 34 hours 46 minutes. Apollo 11 is presently 131,000 nautical miles from Earth, traveling at a speed of about 4,300 feet per second. During the uh, TV transmission, the crew advised that uh, they may possibly be able to take the color television camera into the lunar module with them tomorrow at about 56 hours, 30 minutes ground elapsed time. Uh, they reported that the cables had been checked and appeared to be long enough to uh, take them into the uh, lunar module. Uh, would you uh, say again uh, what your request is? Uh, Roger, 11. We'd like you to go uh, back to Attitude Hole. Over. Uh, 11, Houston. Looks like we're going to have to reinitialize uh, re this uh, TTC. Right. Uh, Okay, do you have any uh, roll angle that you'd like to stop it in, uh, Charlie? I haven't stopped it yet. Stand by. Uh, 11, Houston, it's uh, your preference uh, right now if you want to, over. Okay. 